you one more time with Chef for Cutter Cooking Program. Today we're gonna do you a nice, lovely, lovely Jamaican peanut porridge. Um, basically, as I say, sometimes when you're making peanut porridge, you have to very be careful. It is good for you to use one cup of water, use a cup of peanut. You can always add milk to the water, in, milk to the peanut inside of the pot. So guys, please, if you're gonna make the peanut porridge inside of the pot, put both roughly a cup and a half of water and a cup of peanuts. Blend it with some milk and hard your recipe ingredients to it. So hopefully you enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Um, definitely I will put the recipe on my blog website at chefricardocooking.com. Thank you so much. Hopefully you will like the recipe. Get a copy of my cooking book. It's on Amazon. The price is your price. The price won't change. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. So, Today we get a request to make Jamaican peanut porridge. Um, I definitely want to do this video because I'm really gonna be I'm gonna hop you I know I love my peanut porridge, but basically I'm gonna just go through the ingredients that you guys can understand what's going on right here. This is the raw peanut. This is the one you need. Basically, I got a smoothie blender right here. I pour it straight inside of it like this. That's a glass, but it must work out to a cup. That's fine. Put that at the side. This is some Jamaican coconut milk. Basically, I'm using half cups of coconut milk. I'm just gonna put it straight inside of my smoothie blender like this. Nice and lovely. Put that at the side. Then I'm gonna put some Make, to make sure you guys see exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna pour some ola milk. Roughly half cups of ola milk. That's milk, natural milk. Straight inside of the blender like this. Nice and lovely. Put this at the side. These are cinnamon, little bit of mixed spice, vanilla, salt, and some Vanilla essence, put this on the side. This is the boss, not the egg. And I have also sweet condensed milk to sweeten it. Cover your blender, or if you have a smoothie blender, or them have a different kind, so you can use the one that you have at home. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just basically simply Blend this for a nice good 10 minutes because I want it to be really fine and smooth. Nice and lovely. So what you can see, it's a little bit thick at the moment. So basically what I would do, basically I would simply put some more milk inside of it, roughly half cup more milks just to free up the blender. Because you don't want to mash up your blender, so that's to free up the blender. Then, blend it now. So as you can see, it is free. Nice and lovely. So now that is finished. A blend. Put this at the side. As you can see, To be honest guys, this is exactly what you're looking for. Really finely and smoothy and blend as fine as possible as you can. Please, I'm begging you, make it blend out really fine and smoothy. Now let's go to the medium side. The best, the part we need to see now is this part. Nice and lovely. Right here I have our little medium sized pot on the stove with some water inside of it. As you can see, this is where the water is inside of it. Roughly two cup, two and a half to three cups of water I have it inside of it. But basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply take my time and pour the mixture inside of it like this. And as you can see, the bottle need a little bit of rinse up. So what we're gonna do, just put a little bit more 
milk inside of it just like this and just rinse it up and pour straight inside of it like that. So basically we're gonna do continue whisk it until the seeds start to form really 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 thick. But in the meantime what we can do just to get the flavor and everything inside of it I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla inside of it and also some vanilla essence roughly a teaspoon and also we're gonna put some teaspoon of mixed spice give it a stir just to get the flavor inside of the guys to be honest pinch of cinnamon. Cinnamon is very strong. Just a pinch of cinnamon. Teaspoon of salt. And also one not the egg. Grated not the egg inside of it. The beauty, this is the oh my not the egg stay. This is the older one. So I grate up one older one of that one. So I'm just gonna simply take my little time, keep stirring it until it gets thick. Nice and lovely. Basically, I want to explain it a little bit of it to you guys that if you're going to make your peanut porridge at home, please use a little bit of water down inside of it and always add water to it because I didn't have a little bit too much water inside of mine. So I did go and just blend up a little bit more milk, a little bit more peanut and add it to it for it to get really thick. If it is a little bit too runny, Sometimes you can mix up a little bit of corn flour and give it a little bit of body. So, because that's what you want it. You want it to be like this. Not too thick, not too runny. Um, basically what we're going to do, we're going to use some sweet condensed milk and sweeten it just like this. Looking lovely, but let's taste it and see. Really nice. Add a little bit more of the oil milk to it. So it's good to sweeten and taste as it goes along. This is nice. Mm. This is lovely. So as I said, you don't need to put any sugar inside of it. All you need to do is just add your ingredients and not to add your vanilla, your spices to it as sweeten and taste as it goes along. The most important thing that if you're gonna blend up some peanut to make some peanut porridge, please use a little bit of water down inside of the bottom of the pot. If you use one cup of peanut, please use a cup of water in the pot and then you hard, always can add milk to the water inside of the pot and to get it not too thick, to get it just like this. So as I can see, this looking lovely. This is a little bit too much, but I didn't want to make so much, but that's fine. And this is nice, this is finished. All I'm gonna do is make it just boil up for another good 
10 more minutes. Nice and lovely. As you can see, I make it cook for another good 10, 15 minutes. As you can see, so now this is finished now guys. I'm gonna share it out. Um, that's the main thing you need to do. You need to make the cook for a good, nice, good 10 to 15 minutes. After you mix it up and blend up the peanut, put it in, get it stirred until you see it get thick, cook that for another good 10 to 15 minutes. Then after you sweeten it, cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes and then it come out perfect. I'm gonna share it out now, cause this is finished. This is the best way to make peanut porridge. Hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. Lovely and nice. So right here, as you can see, this is my little bowl right here. It's gonna simply pour out some straight inside of it like this. Nice one. So guys, hopefully you like the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. As I always say, it's just a request. If anyone needs something, please request it and I will definitely make it for them. So enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you. Look at that beautiful Jamaican peanut porridge. The best of the best from Chef Ricardo. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. Bye bye.